Dismissed. Dismissed. Koberger attorneys seek dismissal of indictment. Well, we'll read the article, uh, but good luck with that. Lataw County, Idaho, Court TV. Lawyers for accused Idaho student killer Brian Koberger have filed a motion to dismiss the indictment against their client. Koberger's defense team is alleging grand jury bias, inadmissible evidence, insufficient evidence, and prosecutorial misconduct, among other things. Defense attorneys also claim prosecutors are withholding exculpatory evidence. Yeah, do, do not withhold exculpatory evidence. If it comes out later, it's going to be a mistrial and it doesn't look good for you. Prosecutors have until Wednesday, August 30th, that's two days from now, to respond to the issues raised by Koberger's team. There are 24 in total. A motion hearing is set for Friday, September 1st. Koberger faces four charges of first-degree murder. That's like the eighth time they've said that. In the November 13th, 2022, stabbing deaths of Idaho. We got the, the victims named again. The victims were killed in a rental home on King Road in Moscow, Idaho. Moscow, sorry. Moscow, Idaho. Sorry. Been hanging around the Russians too long. Forgot how to pronounce Moscow. <laughs> that's how we pronounce it out there in, in Utah and Idaho. It's Moscow, Idaho, not Moscow. That's, a, that's, that's that commie place over there. Uh, yes, just off campus. According to investigators, a knife sheath with Koberger's DNA on it was located at the scene underneath Mogan's body. Police allege Koberger stalked or staked out the victim's home dozens of times prior to the murders and also drove by it a few hours after the killings. Before Koberger's arrest, police identified a white Hyundai Elantra as their suspect's vehicle. Koberger, whose car was that exact make and model, had been a Ph.D. student in criminology at Washington State University, which is less than 10 miles away from the King Road house. Koberger's attorneys, who maintain he was out driving alone the night of the murders, entered a not guilt. And that's not the greatest defense. That's not the greatest alibi. He was just out driving around the murder house alone with no other witnesses on the night the murders occurred. Not the greatest alibi, but, you know, we'll see. Uh, entered a not guilty plea. May I help you? Car outside. You done? You done? I guess they're done. It's Coburn's car. Uh, <clears throat> right. Entered a not guilty plea on their client's behalf back in May. Earlier this week, Koberger waived his right to a speedy trial, which means the initial October 2 start date has been postponed indefinitely. At a hearing last Friday, attorneys for Koberger called multiple expert witnesses in hopes of discrediting DNA evidence. In addition to the murder charges, Koberger faces a felony burglary count. If convicted, he could face a possible, possible, a possible sentence of death. Because, because, a possible sentence of death by firing squad. 